Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video today. I am so excited to share with you the last card in my three card uh, series and oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so surprised really that they came out this good. I even did the lettering. I did record myself uh, making these two but I was on video chat with my son so obviously I'm not going to upload that video but I even did the lettering and I'm going to do that with you guys today so I have the paper all set and I'm also going to finish this one up so I guess a two for one uh, this one is naturally drying and whenever I could do that I do because using my heating tool while it's convenient and it speeds up the drying process it also mutes the colors a little bit too so um yep i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video okay so i'm going to add some water here and just shape there we go that's my landscape right there this bottom half is untouched snow but I do like to bring some of it down, as you saw in the other cards. And the reason I'm adding a bit more water than I should is so I have enough to kind of move around. There we go. All right, so let me grab my other brush here. Check out my mop brush. This is the number two, or no, I'm sorry, four by this brand. I don't know how to pronounce that but it's really good brushes I've had them now for over four years and they're good stuff all right so just like I did for the other ones I'm going to begin with blending the paint right on the paper this is manganese blue hue from the professional range and I think because I did two of these uh opera pink Quin pink inspired colors. I'm going to go back to adding a bit more green in the blue so that way I have two of each. And I'll keep this area up here the lightest. So I'll just add a little bit of the color there and then begin to add more color. So I had good luck with the ultramarine green shade. And the manganese blue hue working together. I moved my brush like this on purpose because I love the texture it just leaves behind. I'm also going to be using my spritzer bottle. So doing all the fun stuff. Cobalt turquoise light. Ooh, okay. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Dare I even bring in some aqua? Hmm. Oh my lord. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yep. Bringing in the aqua green as well. I don't think I've ever used these colors before together. Just adding water and just that all the way up. Looks a bit funky there, but no worries. I'm going to go ahead and move my block every which way here. Several times until I am happy with what I see. I'm actually going to bring it down this way. Let me let it run off onto the dish. Grab my paper towel here. Excuse the reach. Okay. Oh my lord. 
We need to start darkening that stuff up. It is gorgeous. So this is where the turquoise light and aqua green are hanging out. And I'm about to add that beautiful ultramarine blue green shade in there. With the aqua. some Payne's Gray. I'm beginning to drop that in. I'm going to be painting a tree on this side. So I will write from the pan onto the paper. Sorry about the shaking. Just adjusting the phone focus to be right over here where you guys can see everything. I'm looking at this card right here. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Yep, I want the darker value to come up here. I don't mind that, that right there. to the manganese blue hue right from the pan. It's just so lovely, I think. <laughs> um, one of my favorite artists, uh, her name is Julia. Julia Liss Art. She did a bunch of batch recording while she was expecting, just so we wouldn't go without. Yeah, some artists really are so thoughtful. I see her do this all the time, just going up. I hope I don't ruin this. Yeah, hers don't look like that, so I'm going to just... Mm, <laughs> maybe I need to look at her video a few more times. All right, either way. I tried. Maybe I need to practice a bit more. I just love what's happening right here, so I don't want to ruin it. And let's grab... I don't want to lose the aqua either. All right, I think that does it for right now. I'm going to brush off. Sideways gives me like all the splayed hairs. Purposely doing this and that and that. That is just magic right there if I do say so myself. All right. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm also going to just gently spray. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy with how this looks. I really am. Okay, so 
going right into that gold that I see right over here. I think it's still, yep, I can still use it. Just twisting and turning my brush, dipping it into the water, coming back in. Taking that out. I know nothing about liquid acrylics, so definitely learn as I go. Learning as I go, I should say. But I know I want splatter. And I know that when this paint touches water, magic happens. <laughs> That's all I know. And I want some of that. And because the tree is going to come out from here, I'm thinking it can be a bit more bold. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, what do you say to that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so going to be even bolder. very gently it just kind of wicks out it's so beautiful I usually would have a fit about seeing all of this uneven but I left it alone just like I left the other one alone and this one alone so that's what I'm going to do so I'm doing pretty good with time so I'm going to let this naturally dry bring this one here over. I'm going to use the same brush and this is a Winsor & Newton Cotman number four. It has the number 222 designers on it. Okay and because I did not heat set this it naturally kind of bumped up. It's a little warpy. It's puckering up a bit. It's natural. No worries about that. Going in with a good amount of neutral tint and I'm going to add that to whatever I have there. And this is going to be the color for my tree. My wonky tree because I'm pretty sure it is going to be just that. I'm going to give myself room here. And I'll just use this Shapir Farbin. Fancy fancy. Brush to go aside here. apologize for not saying much right now. I'm actually a bit nervous. Oh God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Letting the brush naturally skip like that worked for me with the other branches.
Sorry guys, I just had to work a few things out in my head here on my own. I do want to show as much as possible. shaped there actually that works in my favor right now I'm literally looking as I do this right outside my window and I notice that all the branches have these little bumps in them and they splay out every which way so this actually is a good thing Okay, you guys, I am so sorry. I just, uh, oh boy, my cats, let's just say my cats caught on to it and <laughs> I had to call the management office because we have, oh God, we have little field mice, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't wanna go into that too much, but I heard it and I just jumped because I have a, like my reaction is almost hyperventilating if I see one. Yep. <laughs> my hands are shaking right now because I heard that noise. <laughs> I got so nervous. Sorry. literally how all the trees around here look too. All right, I think I did a pretty good job there. Yep, my kitties heard it a mile away. <laughs> so grateful for them. They're smart too, because there's traps set up all underneath. Looks like I just need more. Oh God, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and let that one dry. Looks like this one is still damp, so, yep. So while that one dries a bit more, I'll go ahead and just add a smaller tree. here right here oh how lovely okay Okay, three for the price of one. I'm gonna add a little bit of white ink to the plate and I'll do a little bit of splatter as well. The ink is by 
the Michaels brand artist loft and it's not the best so I'm not gonna expect you know lots of opacity but just a slight indication but a little bit of snow coming down oh how lovely perfect okay now I take that back Maybe it's just the beginning of a little bit of snow. Okay, now I take it back because it actually looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and do the lettering in uh, with the pencil first. And I'm just going to letter out piece because that just seems to be the perfect word for this background. Super simple and I'm thinking I'll use the uniball in silver to go over that but we still have this one here to go and I Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful granulation. I'm going to use that granulation medium next time. Yep, that's going to be a next time's card because, like I said, I'm going to continue sharing. But look at that beautiful granulation, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so I did have to use the heating tool, um, and I mainly use it on this side. This side still feels a little cool, but as long as this side is dry, I'm good. So I just uh, added some neutral tint and paints gray to the mixture that I used for the background here. And this time I'm going to start from the top. That sound is my coffee maker. That's okay. <laughs> as long as it's not that other sound. It's like a paralyzing fear that I have of them. And honestly, that's because growing up in Chicago, we, we were homeless for a long time. So whatever safe shelter we did have, it was not the best. And it was in the 80s, so you could only imagine. my 
brush kind of just do its own thing here loving how this is looking sorry guys I had to take a moment to uh, just collect myself if you will just it just triggers anxiety so sorry about that Sometimes the long sticks are just bare. They just have these little little nubby nub things coming out. <laughs> nubby nub. Yep. Nubby nub. I guess three is the name of the game today. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Think that looks pretty good okay so back to some of the light ink splatters took my Posca marker out and darkened up uh, or added more white to uh, the snowflakes there and That's literally all I can think of right now, and I think it's the easiest for me to letter. So, sorry I don't have anything much more, you know, uh, extravagant, but I will. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I just used my needed eraser to lighten up the lines, and now it's just... come back and darken that up. I can even add some drop shadows with the Tombow and 95. All sorts of wonderful things. Same thing with this one. I lettered for many years and once I begin to do it again, to me it's like picking up, you know, getting back on my bike. All right, so that's looking really good. Let's go ahead and get the card so we can add this to the card front. And this is just a, because I wanted to. They're both because I wanted two cards. Not really sure why peel reveals are just so hard for me to accomplish, but I'll go ahead and do this one first. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Zero aesthetics. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. 
those colors are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, this one here, you need to make the card. All right, this one should be a little easier. Yep. At least you know the Dollar Tree brand masking tape continues to work for me, <laughs> no matter how hard. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Nice, clean, crisp edge. You can see a little bit of paint there at the bottom. I'm glad I did that. Wow. I mean, just as is, is wonderful. Okay, so this is the double-sided adhesive that I use from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to the entire back here of the card. Okay, so I went ahead and added a good amount of tape. Always have one finger underneath the paper so you can have some wiggle room. And when you feel that it's good, you can use your scoring tool or just something gentle, maybe even a paper towel to just gently go over. I flip it on its back and do just that. This is what I used to use or used to do back in the day, especially when I made mini albums. Oh, how I loved making mini albums from scratch. The binding system, all that good stuff. Uh, good times. <laughs> but you can see it really adheres your card front down. And there might be a little bit of uh, warping or just... Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be completely straight because a lot of water, a lot of paint went onto this, but in the end, these are cards that just mean so much to the recipients and just are so well loved and received. And it's a great feeling. It really is. I want to apologize for getting a little emotional there with the whole field mice thing. Sorry, it was just you know, kind of a fight or flight reaction with me. And, um, but everything is fine now. All is good. So thank you for staying with me and seeing these two beautiful cards come to life. All right, I'm going to take pictures and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.